Hi, you guys, Danielle Jackson. Thank you so much for joining me for another three minutes of real estate episode. Today, I am going to uh, discuss some potential due diligence questions that you may want to add to your existing list. And I know I have covered this on a prior episode. However, we are in a slightly changed market environment uh, with some volatility in the capital markets and in rising rates, which I know we're all, we're all aware of. So this is not constituting any type of investment advice. This is really just a collective brainstorm on some questions that you may potentially want to uh, refine and or add to your due, your list of due diligence questions. So uh, the first one is I would ask a potential sponsor or operator how they are structuring their loans. And if a floating rate structure, how are you hedging against a rising rate environment? Second one is do your loan terms match or even exceed your hold period? And what a potential investor might be wanting to evaluate is if there will be any forced um, recapitalization in an even more unfavorable market environment uh, because they've not achieved their hold period and their loan is coming up on a maturity. Um, do you have flexibility to refinance if the rate environment should change and drop in the near future? A lot of loans may be structured with a prepayment penalty or yield maintenance. So identifying that up front is extremely valuable. Another one is how do you think about and underwrite cash reserves? In any type of potential recessionary environment, having more cash reserves on hand, as we all know, uh, is, is definitely taking a more conservative approach. So that's a question that you may want to understand what those cash reserves are now and if they may be more than what they've historically underwritten. Uh, last but not least is how they're modeling the exit caps. Uh, many believe that we may be in somewhat of a softening uh, as far as values, uh, softening market. And so you may want to see an exit cap that is a bit higher than what the acquisition or the entry cap was. So hope this was helpful. Again, not investment advice, just potential questions to be reconciling and considering as you're evaluating potential investments. So again, please don't hesitate to connect and reach out. I look forward to hopefully speaking with each of you. And thank you again for tuning in and hope you join me next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.